What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Tonight we are making shrimp and broccoli on the Blackstone. That's right, shrimp and broccoli on the Blackstone. Tongue teaser, I know. It is awesome, super easy to make, a little bit of prep work, but it comes out phenomenal. So stick around for that. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. What we do is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you for all the support. We do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, here we go. We're gonna start off with some fresh organic broccoli. We're gonna cut these florets off, super easy and we're gonna speed it up here for you. So we speed it up here for you just a little bit. That's it. That's what they look like. Beautiful. So you wanna heat up some water to a nice boil and we're gonna put this broccoli in and we are gonna parboil this for two minutes. Make sure you put your timer on, keep that heat on high and it will start boiling back up close to the two minute mark actually. And that's it. You're going to take it out after that and put it in an ice bath to stop the cooking process. Very important. This will prevent it from getting super mushy. And you'll have some nice crispy broccoli that's uh, perfectly done at the end. And look at that. Look, that color came out. So we've got some colossal shrimp here. 13, 15 count per pound. This is easy peel, split shell, deveined, and tails on. And then we're going to take some uh, green onion. And we're going to cut off the whites here, just nice slices, real thin. And this is going to be part of our garlic sauce. So you put that in there, just uh, probably about a couple of tablespoons full. And then we're going to take some fresh garlic, mash it, chop it real fine. You want to get that as fine as you can, make it look beautiful like that. And the smell, oh, the smell is ridiculous. So here are these beautiful shrimp. So, again, already split, uh, split and deveined, super easy to peel the way they come. You want to make sure they're thawed out, and you're just going to peel that exterior uh, shell off, and then you want to squeeze that tail and take that off as well, and that's it. You'll, you'll look at it, and you'll say, wow, that looks beautiful. Look at the size of that thing. So, again, here we speed it up for you a little bit so you can see how easy this is. And that's it. That's what it looks like. Ready to go. So we are going to salt and pepper these up. Some fresh ground salt right here. As well as some fresh ground pepper. Not too much, not too little. And some soy sauce. Same thing. You don't want to go crazy, but you want to have just enough. I'm eyeballing this, but it's probably like a teaspoon Maybe a little bit more, but not much. And then some sesame oil. Here's the key right here. That is an awesome ingredient. And here you want to go a little bit less, probably like a half a teaspoon here. And then some cornstarch. I go about two heaping teaspoonfuls. And we just want to mix that up and get it all nice and coated and get them prepped up for the Blackstone, which is is next here we go all right we got the black stone heated up you do not want this on high heat you want this more medium low to medium because those shrimp are going to cook nice and fast so i put down a little bit of oil and then some butter on top of that the butter's for the flavor the oils to keep the butter from getting brown and we add here our garlic and sliced green onions and you want to get those into a nice little center here and again you don't want it too high you just kind of want to get these going because after we get these going then we're going to add our shrimp so get them in a nice little pile they look nice and pretty <laughs> move them around a little bit and you can see the, the browning process starting. And once it gets there, that takes about literally a minute. This is a really quick cook, so. 
nice and browned up. Looking spectacular. And that's it. Now we add our shrimp. First a little bit more oil. You can see kind of the heat and then the shrimp. So I pop it right on top right there. And then what we're going to do here is just basically get them all flat kind of on top of those onions and garlic. Uh, it's going to make like its own sauce there with, with all the, the, uh, the, the items that we put in the shrimp for the marinade basically. So the marinade and now the onions and the garlic and the shrimp, it all kind of combines together at this point. And now the smell is just off the chain. It's just ridiculous at this point. Uh, you can see the bubbling, not too hot though. And then after literally about a minute or two, that's it. You want to turn these shrimp. You do not want to overcook these. We're basically just looking to get this little bit of brown exterior, nothing crazy. And you can see the onion sticking and the garlic and it's getting all incorporated. And oh my goodness, that is looking absolutely delicious. So that's kind of what you want it to look like after you turn them. And then right after that, we're going to add our broccoli right on top. Parboiled broccoli. And we're going to let all of this incorporate together. We're going to mix it up, get it incorporated, get all that garlic, onion, sesame oil, soy sauce, all that goodness mixed all together. And not too much, just enough, just to get it all combined. And that's it. <laughs> this dish is done. There's really not much left. It's a, it's a super easy dish to cook. A little bit of prep work and not much time to cook at all and look at the colors on this thing it's just beautiful so we have a little bit of oil or not oil some, some more of that garlic sauce left which we're going to add in i will say i would have made more of this garlic sauce to add it in uh i could have used a little bit more but I did not want it to get soggy. I really wanted it to be have like a, I really wanted to have fresh broccoli, not soggy, because I've had soggy uh, shrimp and broccoli before. It's not that great, obviously, uh, but this came out just really well. So, a couple more final mixes. Get it to where all the broccoli is nice and evenly coated with that wonderful uh, garlic sauce and. We're about at the finish line here. We're going to make it look nice and pretty. And let's go check it out. Look at this shrimp and broccoli. Man, what a beautiful dish on the Blackstone. I cannot wait to dig in. It smells delicious. But first, a close up. Oh my goodness. Look at the colors on the broccoli and the shrimp. Are you kidding me? Wow, <laughs> that looks amazing. We are going to dig into this and I cannot wait. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I don't know where to start. I'll start with a piece of broccoli. Mm. Nice crunch to it. Mm. All that flavor is coming in there. Fat shrimp right there. Hold on. 
Mm. Wow. That shrimp and broccoli combination is just so satisfying. Oh my goodness. Mm. What a great combination. If you love broccoli and you love shrimp, they go great together. <laughs> and this recipe is so easy. You got a little prep work involved in the beginning, but you saw how quick it was to cook it. Unbelievable. <laughs> this is awesome. You got to give it a shot. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat 